Lesla Gooden joins us live in the newsroom on what you need to know to protect yourself. Lesla. That's right. According to the Federal Trade Commission, gift cards are the number one payment method for scammers, and they say the scams are becoming more threatening and convincing. By the end of 2021, gift card spending is projected to jump by 27% due to ongoing product shortages and supply chain issues, according to retail experts. But with this uptick, the Federal Trade Commission says about one in four people have reported losing money to scammers after purchasing gift cards. In an effort to combat these thefts, a consumer advocacy organization called Scamspotter.com says you should follow these tips to keep the scammers at bay. Number one, slow it down. Scammers often create a false sense of urgency when speaking with you so that they can bypass your better instincts. So take your time. Two, double check all the details you're being told. If you get a call from an unknown number, hang up and call the alleged company directly. And three, stop and don't send. Oftentimes, deceivers will tell you to purchase gift cards in form of a payment, which is a red flag. And remember, gift cards are only given as a gift and never as a payment under threat. The FTC says if you paid someone with a gift card and gave them any numbers on the card, here's what you do. First, find the card and the receipt and report the incident to the card issuer. Then report it to the FTC at reportfraud.ftc.gov. Live in studio, Leslie Good in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Well, tonight